Atadi. I am going to discuss about your D9 chart and in your D9 chart the focus will be in your 7th house and the answer will be whether the 7th house support your marriage or not support your marriage. Before this, I just like to tell you that the activation of namaz and the misconception among the users and the followers and the people. Uh, there is a misconception. There is a misconception that the namaz gets activated only after marriage. No, this is not true. The D9 chart shows the actual strength of your D1 chart and that strength how it will behave post marriage. So this is not true as the Sastra tell us to study the Namaj from the strength of planet even without reference to marriage. So please note down these things. The Namaj the Namash is also the chart of good fortune which I have mentioned in the previous video about the 10th house lord about the placement of the Namash lung in both the Rashi chart and in your D9 chart. However, it has a particular signification for relationship and the marriage. What will be the relationship? How the marriage will flourish? How the marriage will be long life, long longevity of the marriage persist? So, after all, marriage is one of the karmic duties that carry forward from your past life. So, and it is a matter of good fortune otherwise that we marry a spouse. So, karmic duties towards your spouse also the responsibility of your D9 chart that is your divisional chart division chart so misconception if you have a misconception that it will only activate after post marriage that is wrong it always activate it is always activate we check the strength of the d lagna chart planet in your d9 chart now i have focused you i mentioned that in this video we will discuss about your seventh house how this seventh house will behave whether it support your marriage or not if in your chart if you see that malefic planets placed in the seventh house malefic planets are ketu present or rahu present or sun present or mars present or saturn present first first thing if these either of these planets are placed or in combination they are placed or by aspects they are looking to the seventh house first thing the second case, if the 6th house of your D9 chart, your 8th lord and your 12th lord is placed in the 7th house, that is also considered as malefic effects. So, if there are malefic effects in your 7th house, in that case, the problems definitely rise in your relationship the problems can arise in your relationship and the chances will be quite high when there are dasha and the dasha of respective planets who are placed in the seventh house or who are the lord of six eight and twelfth and making connection with the seventh house in that case that will be weird and that can be difficult to maintain the marriage for a long activity of life so please note down these things if the malefic planets placed in the seventh house of the d9 chart can create problems in relationships note down these things there is nothing to recall to remember for a long time just remember malefic planets in the seventh house there can be a problem in relationship so you need to take care about the Bij mantra the strotam of that planet from our jyotishkar app free of cost it's available in our websites you just recite Bij mantra of the malefic planets playlist in your seventh house this is the first case now, uh, this is the concept of the malefic planets. Now, what will happen if here is placed your benefic planets? Why, uh, how can you determine the benefic planets are present in your chart? If you see that in your seventh house in the Lagna chart, in the D9 chart is placed your Jupiter or somewhere it is placed, uh, Jupiter placed, it is Venus placed, it is Moon placed, it is Mercury placed. They all are benefic in concept in nature. And if the uh, uh, if the D9 Lagna Lord is placed, 10th Lord placed, uh, Lord of Destiny placed, Lord of 5th House placed, Lord of 4th House placed, Lord of 2nd House placed somewhere. In that case, that is said to be benefics. Means this house, 
दिस हाउस पर्टिकुलर त्रिकोण हाउस केंद्र हाउस लॉर्ड आर प्लेस्ड इन योर सेवेंथ हाउस दैट इज बेनिफिट कॉन्सेप्ट एंड दैट सपोर्ट योर मैरिज it also means that if suppose in the case of you have both malefic and benefic both planets are placed in your 7th house and suppose there are dasha antar dasha of malefic planets in that case marriage will purely ups and downs there will be miss aggressiveness there will be miss directiveness and that could vein your marriage but if you handle that period carefully and the next dasha is coming to be your benefic planets in that case in that period you will be saved your marriage life will be saved from this uh, combination by this dasha and anta dasha so in case of malefic recite beej mantra and please consult your astrologer to proper remedy and for benefic wait for the malefic period to overcome that's all for the day so you have our video you have description box you have the channel subscription you have the channel uh, you have uh, instagram facebook twitter you can consult by sharing your charts and the sha we will try in 60 days to reply you as much as possible and if you need any consultancy download jyotish kar veda app instagram website we have jyotish kar numerology app also if you don't have your time you can put your date of birth and get your answer that's all for the day thank you so much